Hi boys and girls! Welcome to today's at home enrichment program brought to you by the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. For those of you who may be new to the organization and unfamiliar, the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy is a nonprofit organization on Cape Cod in the state of Massachusetts dedicated to funding and conducting white shark research and educating the public about the importance of shark conservation. My name is Emma, and today we are going to learn how to draw a great white shark step by step. Go ahead and grab a piece, a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. Now that I have my blank white piece of paper and my pencil, I'm ready to start. If you'd like, you could also take out the anatomy lesson worksheet that you filled out last week and use it as a review while we draw. Okay, we are going to take this step by step. So let's start with the shape for the shark's body. Go ahead and draw an oval on your page that looks something like this. It's okay if both sides aren't even, that doesn't matter. Does everyone have their oval? Nice job! Now, on the left side of our oval, we are going to add another shape for the head. So on the top of your oval over here, start drawing a line, bring it to a curved point, and then bring it to the lower side of your oval. So now we have a shape for the shark's head. Okay. Now we are going to draw the shape for the shark's tail fin. Does anyone remember the name of the tail fin? It's the caudal fin. Nice job. Over here on the right, a little bit away from the shark's body, go ahead and draw a triangle that looks something like that. So now we have the shark's body the shark's head, and the shark's tail. Let's go ahead and connect the shark's body to the tail fin. Draw a line from the top of the body, and then draw a line from the bottom of the body. Okay, let's go ahead and add some of those fins. Does anyone remember the name of the fin that's on the top of the shark's body? The dorsal fin, nice job. So go ahead and add a triangle on top of the shark that looks something like that. Does anyone remember the name of the fin that's on the lower part of the shark? It's the pectoral fin. Go ahead and draw another triangle that looks something like that. Nice job! We have a couple more fins to add. Over here on the underbelly of the shark, there's another small fin. Does anyone remember the name of that fin? It's called the pelvic fin. So go ahead and draw another small triangle for the pelvic fin. A little more to the right, on the underside of the tail, there's another small fin. Anyone remember the name of this one? It's the anal fin. So go ahead and draw another small triangle for the anal fin. And then above the anal fin, on top of the tail, Go ahead and draw another small fin. Awesome! Starting to look like a shark, isn't it? Okay, let's add an eye for our shark. So over here on the head, go ahead and draw a small circle. I'm going to fill mine in a little bit. Now our shark has an eye. Nice job. Let's go ahead and give that shark a mouth. 
This part might get a little tricky, so I'll go slow. Right here on the bottom of the head, start drawing a line that goes into the shark's body. Next, you're going to draw another smaller line that comes off of the line you just drew. Now, in the middle of that line you just drew, draw a curved line that comes out to the edge of your shark's head. Then, add another curved line so that your shark has a mouth. If you'd like, you could even add some sharp teeth in there. Awesome. Few more things to do before we're done. We're not done quite yet. We are going to trace the outline of our shark. So make a nice dark line that follows the outline of your shark. Make sure you trace over those small fins. Now, when you get to the caudal fin, follow the line up to the top point. Now, rather than following this straight line down, we need to make the line come in because the shark's caudal fin, it doesn't go straight down. So let's bring that line in. When we get to the middle, we'll bring it back out and then follow the rest of the fin. That looks better, doesn't it? Now follow the rest of the outline of your shark, including those small fins. back to the beginning. Do you have a nice dark outline of your shark? Nice job! When you're done making the outline, you can now take your eraser and erase any of those lines that you don't want. It's okay if you erase some of your outline. You can just draw back over it. go ahead and fix any lines that you might have gotten erased. Does anyone remember the name of a shark's nostril? Or where they smell on their nose? They're called the nares. So since we only see one side of the shark, we just need to draw one. So on the nose, go ahead and draw a small shape or one of the nares. Anything else you think we might be missing? How about the shark's gills? Right here above the pectoral fin, draw some slightly curved lines for the shark's gills. Now, if you'd like, you could add a line going along the shark because remember, they have that white underbelly. Goes under the pectoral fin and ends right before the caudal fin. So now we have our great white shark. 
Nice job. Let's go ahead and add some shading. There's a bunch of different ways that you can shade when you're drawing. You can use a pencil to lightly draw like that. You can also do something called cross hatching. That's where you make a bunch of lines and then cross over them with more lines. There's also my personal favorite, which is called stippling, where you make a lot of dots really close together. But that takes a lot of time. So go ahead and shade your shark if you would like. You can shade as much or as little of your shark as you would like. You can also add some color with colored pencils or crayons or maybe even paint. Thanks for joining us today and have fun drawing. Bye!